Well, uh, my name is uh, August, and uh, I am uh, uh, August Pensrath, and uh, I am an, an explorer, as you as you already know. <laughs> you know, uh, from my various achievements in the uh, exploring world. Yeah, you've, uh, well, take us through some of your achievements. Well, uh, I, I uh, explored um, uh, somewhere in Africa, uh, which was, which was, um, you know, good. Um, I, fa I found, um, uh, you know, a, a tribe, um, and they, um, um, yeah. You know, I've unfortunately been born in um, a, a year where lots of things have already been explored. I mean, if I'd have, if I'd have um, been born in BC, uh, you know, some some point in that area of time, for instance, um, I imagine Bridlington wouldn't have been uh, explored that much um, by that time. So, so unfortunately, I have been born into a, a, a you know a, a time where. Um, the world that we live in has been explored already. It's called metropolitan exploration. I've, it's a thing I've developed. It's uh, you know it's in the beta stage um, at the moment, but it's called metropolitan exploration because people you know they usually go and explore. I mean you know in my earlier career, as I have explained, I explored you know Africa, found a tribe, shared the buffalo. Uh, but you know um, since then, I thought well you know um, Tesco's has only been around for. You know, not long. Um, so, so I thought, you know, Pete, you know, Captain Scott never, never explored Tesco, uh, Metro, or otherwise. Um, so, so when, when, you know, uh, so I thought, why not? Why not do that? But the Tescos are already quite well mapped. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> If you've uh, seen the one I've been to, um, aisle three was not fruit and veg, as they as they said. Um, actually, it had dairy. Um, so I was, uh, you know, it was a good job. I, good job I was there. Uh, uh, to be honest. What are the last great places to be explored, other than Tesco? Um, uh, if we're going, if we're going down the uh, the metropolitan. Uh, exploration route. Uh, it's it's uh, maybe uh, home base, or, uh, or um, yeah. Well, I've I've got to I've got to uh, I've got to not say uh, because I I don't know. But in terms of the great explorers, this isn't so much a case of I'm going outside now. I may be some time, so much as it's, I'm nipping to the shop, do you want some milk? Well, well actually when you say it, they, uh, they do sound uh, very similar. Uh, I'm just going out, I may be some time, um, that, that could, you know, that wouldn't fall out of place if you were going to a shop, so I don't actually see, see your point. But you know why he said that? R r remind me? Well... Because he was sacrificing himself for the good of his company. That, that's how he died. I suppose what we're trying to say, and I hope you don't think this unfair, is you're not so much exploring places or discovering new places as going to the shops. You know, you know, <laughs> with, with all with all due respect, um, I, I'm I've uh, I've tried uh, to listen to your your uh, questions with, uh, with with respect, um, but I, I feel I feel I feel it's a bit of a Van Gogh slash Van Gogh situation where uh, the you know the people uh, all around me um, don't don't appreciate things until after I've died, and because I'm not dead, people are not appreciating my work, and I feel that you do not respect the fact that I have um, explored and actually corrected the uh, Bridlington Tesco map which um, incorrectly incorrectly um, says that aisle three is fruit and veg whereas it is mainly cheese and yoghurt. But they've asked you not to return. Well that's mainly because they felt embarrassed about the lack of concentration that went in to going into the map. Did you actually go to Africa? Um I um it, 
No.